Hi there, today I thought it would be great to get the opinion of a doctor in how to treat ourselves whilst at home. As the majority of people who are infected with coronavirus, their experiences will be mild or asymptomatic, which can be treated at home. So doctor, if someone was experiencing the telltale signs of the virus, what should they do to feel better? Well, the symptoms of COVID-19, the disease caused by coronavirus, include a fever, a temperature above 37.8 degrees Celsius, a new continuous cough, shortness of breath and difficulty breathing, fatigue, headaches, sore throat, aches and pains. If you experience a fever or a new continuous cough, you should self-isolate immediately. Those experiencing a mild illness don't need to seek medical attention. What does self-isolate mean? To self-isolate means to stay at home, not to go to school, work or public places, not to attend your GP surgery. If you have to attend hospital, do not use public transport to get there. Not to use public transport, including taxis. Ask friends, family or delivery services to do errands for you. Avoid visitors to your home, except to drop off food or supplies. If you share a house, try and stay in one room away from other members of the household. Avoid sharing towels, crockery, cutlery or bedding. And what do you do while you're in self-isolation? As with other viruses such as colds and flu, taking it easy and looking after yourself are crucial to your recovery. So you should drink plenty of fluids, drink enough water so that your pee is pale, clear colour, avoid alcohol as this will make you more dehydrated. If you smoke, you should try to stop for good. Get plenty of rest. You should isolate yourself at home if you have any symptoms of coronavirus and avoid any strenuous activity whilst you are unwell. Are there any medications for COVID-19? There is not currently a cure for COVID-19 or vaccine against coronavirus. The aim of treatment is to manage and reduce symptoms until you have recovered. Most people, around 80%, have an asymptomatic or mild infection, which can be treated at home. In this case, you should self-isolate for at least one week until you have recovered. One in five people who contract COVID-19 will require hospital care. Around 15% of cases experience severe infection requiring oxygen to help with respiratory symptoms. 5% experience critical infections requiring ventilation. Those at a higher risk of severe or critical infections include older people and those with underlying health conditions. What painkillers are suitable? To relieve pain and fever, you can use painkillers like paracetamol. France's health minister, Olivier Véron, recently commented that non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, could aggravate the infection. These medications include aspirin, ibuprofen and naproxen, amongst others. Currently, there is no conclusive evidence that NSAIDs will make a coronavirus infection worse. But until there is more information available, you should stick to other painkillers to treat a fever or headache if possible. However, if you have been prescribed an NSAID to treat a health condition, you should continue to take it until you are told not to. Some of the medications and treatments you might use to treat colds and flu will also help with coronavirus symptoms. Cough medicines or cough suppressants can help reduce your cough. However, some of these preparations may or may not contain paracetamol or other painkillers, so always read the label. Throat lozenges and remedies like honey or lemon may improve a sore throat. What about homemade remedies? Although there is no robust scientific evidence that homemade remedies work, some people do find them useful. There is no harm in making small quantities of homemade remedies using lemon, ginger, honey or black seed oil in the form of a warm drink to soothe the throat and increase fluid intake, as anything in too much quantity can also be harmful. It also must be noted that these remedies could also distract you from doing the thing which really helped to stop the infection, such as thorough hand washing and social distancing. What are your thoughts on steam inhalation? There is not very much evidence that this helps. However, some people find it useful. It is very important to be careful to avoid burns and scolds, particularly with children. A safe way of inhaling steam is to sit in the bathroom with the door closed while running a hot shower to make the room steamy. Antibiotics If you have antibiotics lying around at home, do not take them to treat coronavirus. As it is a virus, antibiotics will not improve coronavirus. You should never take antibiotics which haven't been prescribed for a certain condition. COVID-19 cures? 
There are many natural cures and herbal remedies floating around the internet and in health stores. Currently, we aren't aware of any remedy to cure COVID-19. So don't be fooled by the miracle treatments some people are trying to sell. They could contain harmful ingredients and could also distract you from doing the thing which really helped to stop the infection, such as thorough hand washing and social distancing. And when do you seek medical attention? Seek medical attention if you cannot cope with your symptoms at home, your condition gets worse, you still have fever, are feeling generally unwell or have other symptoms after a week. Your symptoms haven't improved after seven days. You should seek medical attention as soon as possible. If it's not an emergency, contact NHS 111 online. If you have no internet access, call 111. If there is an emergency and you need an ambulance, call 999 and tell the call handler that you have coronavirus. Even under the new measures announced by the government to prevent people from leaving their homes for non-essential purposes, you are still able to seek medical care of all kinds. You should not see your GP or pharmacist if you think you might have coronavirus. Thank you, doctor. That was very insightful. And I hope you guys liked the video and check us out on other platforms. Bye.